Hey, what's up guys? A St. Catherine man killed by quote and quote friend. Mm -hmm. Tears welled up in Anaki's eyes and sadness gripped her face as she stared at a portrait taken on her wedding day December 29, 2018. Anaki's husband Ryan was shot and killed in their home community of Berwick which is situated just outside Riversdale in St. Catherine. Anaki said and I quote, Ryan was everything to me and I am yet to fully come to grips with the sadness that engulfs me. Ryan couldn't sing or dance very well, but he would often do both to cheer me up if I am sad. He brought joy to many. This is sad, and I am asking why it happened. End quote. Police reports are that at about 11.15 p.m. on Friday, February 12, Ryan was at a bar in Berwick when a dispute developed between him and another man. The man, said to be a close family friend, reportedly walked away and returned with a handgun, which he used to shoot Ryan in the upper body as he sat in his car. Ryan, 37, was rushed to the Linstead Hospital where he was pronounced dead, while the man who shot him fled the scene. He has not been taken into custody. Anake described her husband as a jovial kind man who won her heart several years ago. She said, and I quote, I remember starting with Ryan as a friend and it engulfed into a wonderful union. Although we didn't have children, everyone called him Uncle Ryan. He was a blessing. And there is still a monumental hurt that I feel. Only time can help me heal, along with my husband, fond memories. End quote. Ryan, who operated a business and was a supervisor at a BPO establishment, was the third trial of Grace. She recalled her last encounter. She said and I quote, It was Thursday and him carried the sweet potato and asked me to bake a pudding. It really hurt that I baked it on Friday and he didn't even get to taste it. 